In Mailu, there are so many places to go and so many things to see. Some you may not even know exist. Well, now there is a colorful book that is helping kids and their families discover uh, the weird and the wonderful. He's an illustrator with a different name. Zetwalk. Zetwalk. Yeah. Rhymes with sweat sock. Bringing to life. To me, illustration is the most magic thing that I can just say, could you somehow say the following thing but with a picture? The different things and places in Missouri. I wanted to make people excited to be where they are. Amanda. On this surface, it does not seem like a particularly um, off the wall place. Is the writer behind Missouri Weird and Wonderful. By total wheelhouse, so it really was the, yeah, the perfect project. An eye-opening book project. Oh, I never would have thought to research or investigate this particular aspect. To get more kids reading. I'm always trying to make reading an activity of choice for children. Dan's illustrations offer a lot of activity for the eyes to see. Hidden things peeked in every corner of the illustrations. This Monarchs. is what I'm saying. I'm going to be looking through this for uh, ever, finding more and more little things. The pictures feature things that are sort of hidden in plain sight. From the landscape. We have incredible natural wonders. To the mascots. Yeah, the St. Louis College of Pharmacy has a mascot called the Eutectic, which is an obscure chemist chemical process that is their mascot. To the wildlife. I guess I just didn't know, you know, about the variety of uh, weird animals we have here. There are a lot of, I didn't know that, in the 43 pages. You get kind of into it and then you think, oh, maybe this has already been done. Maybe like everyone already knows this and now I feel really dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you go out and you talk to people and you find out, no. And Amanda hopes the weird and wonderful not only gets kids to pick up a book, she hopes her book inspires families to pick themselves up and go and explore. I mean, it motivated me. I mean, I know I was writing it, but but there are still th there are a couple things in the book that I wrote about that I haven't been to. So, um, yeah, I hope so. Tomorrow morning, Amanda and Dan will have a book signing at Betty's Books in Webster Groves beginning at 1030.